Welcome to Tennessee. We are visiting the famous Ruby Falls today. Located along the Tennessee River Gorge, just south of downtown Chattanooga, Ruby Falls is one of the Lookout Mountain's most popular attractions, and it was discovered completely by accident. In 1905, railroad construction forced the closure of Lookout Mountain Cave, making it inaccessible to the public. Local cave explorer Leo Lambert sought to reverse this and gathered a team of excavators to help build an elevator from the surface that will lower visitors into the cave. Five years into the construction, a team member drilled into an 18-inch opening that led to a new cave where Ruby Falls now stands. Located 1,120 feet below the surface of the mountain, Ruby Falls is America's deepest commercial cave and largest underground waterfall. Carrying out Lambert's vision, visitors can take an elevator down to the falls and learn about the various rock formations located along the path to the falls. The attraction also boasts a lookout tower, a playground, and a zip lining adventure. Recent visitors found the falls to be stunning and the formations in the cave very cool. With many appreciating the fun atmosphere the guides help create. However, one notable complaint among the travelers was that the tour groups are too big for such a small space. Some left feeling a bit claustrophobic. Others advised using the restrooms beforehand as the tour can last more than an hour and there are no facilities within the cave. Despite this, many said the tour was a great experience and recommended it to other travelers. Well, let's go see for ourselves. Watch guys, follow me and watch your heads. rising up from the banks of the Tennessee River and stretching 80 miles southwest into Georgia and Alabama, Lookout Mountain features extensive cave systems, including the Lookout Mountain Cave. Throughout history, the natural opening of the Lookout Mountain Cave on the banks of the Tennessee River allowed easy access for early Native Americans in the region, whose folklore and legends included tales of miles of underground passageways. This same cave was used by both Union and Confederate forces during Civil War battles in the Chattanooga area. It became necessary to construct a tunnel through the end of Lookout Mountain to provide rail access from Nashville to Chattanooga. By 1905, the Lookout Mountain cave entrance was intersected and sealed off from outside access. Leo Lambert had played in Lookout Mountain cave in 1923, Mr. Lambert began investigating the concept of drilling an elevator shaft into the side of Lookout Mountain in an effort to reach the old Lookout Mountain cave and potentially reopen it to the public. On November 1st, 1928, at the 260-foot level, a gush of air rose up through the shaft as the jackhammer hit a void in the rock. A small opening into a previously unknown chasm was discovered. Measuring two feet high and four feet wide was immediately explored by Lambert and a small crew. They disappeared into the chasm and were gone 17 hours. Upon their return, Lambert excitedly told of the discovery of amazing geological formations and the existence of an enormous waterfall. A few days later, Lambert re-entered this newfound cave with his wife Ruby and christened this natural wonder with her name, Ruby Falls. As you journey from this point, you will eventually reach the spectacular 145-foot waterfall at a depth of 1,120 feet underground. The deepest commercial waterfall in the United States. That is the natural level of the cave where he crawled through for seven hours. Anybody willing to do that? No. no. All right, guys, make our way through the cave, y'all. Watch out your heads. There's some low rocks. This is a good example right here. Get a cave kiss. Hurry up. Got one. I feel it. Get one. Let me see. Good. You're lucky. Stand up. His 
cracking. This is the only formation in the cave you are allowed to touch. As if it is, it is non-active, which means it is dead, no longer living. All right, so we're gonna listen to a short diary entry by Leo Lambert himself, and then y'all can touch it as we move by. From the diary of Leo Lambert, December 31st, 1928. We're all amazed at the incredible things we observed in this new area. So we eventually found our way to a geological wonder formations all around. One looks like a large wax candle, another one like a cactus. I spent my life studying formations, but I have never seen anything like this. Further ahead, we saw unusual formations that look like a chandelier and a totem pole. There's even one that Jimmy said looked like the north end of a southbound donkey. One column looks as if it's made from onyx. We continued onward. Watch your head, don't jump up. 